Hi, my name is Bill Gerstenmeyer. I'm currently Associate Administrator, Human Exploration and Operations Mission Director here at NASA headquarters. Uh, during the space station program, I was uh, deputy program manager for a period of time and also program manager for the International Space Station down in Houston prior to coming up here to Washington. You know, what I'd like to do now is just talk about some of my experiences on the station program. And, and one of them that comes to mind is really be prepared for the unexpected. And, and I'll kind of give you two short stories on both of those. One is more programmatic in nature, and the other one is more technical in nature. And, and the first one I'll start off with was is the programmatic side. That, you know, we were just really starting to ramp up assembly. Things were going well from an EVA standpoint. We were actually hitting the mark with shuttle flights early on in assembly, putting things together, and things were going extremely well. And, and, it, and we were putting together our budget submit, and we were asked by headquarters to essentially uh, pull out all the unknowns in the program, all the risks. There was going to be an administration change. This was a chance for us to kind of true up things and get our budget in sync with the program we're executing. So we were asked to go out and kind of uh, take all the risks that were sitting out there and, and quantify those into real dollars and bring those forward as part of the, the budget process and bring it forward to headquarters so they could essentially true up the budget with the program. So we went out and we, you know, we found all the, the issues in the program, anything that was questionable, we were kind of spring loaded to go put in the budget. So we put all that together and then we compiled all the numbers and we sent them up to headquarters. And, and roughly the program was on the order of five billion or so over what the current baseline is for the, for the program. And we thought that would all be fine and things were doing really good. We've never really had been doing better from a technical standpoint in terms of execution. So we thought things were going to be great and things were fine. Well, as soon as that got up here, you know, headlines read program $5 billion over budget, they bring in independent assessors and everything. And, and before we could even say that that $5 billion really wasn't a true $5 billion, it was maybe $2 billion of true over guide. We never even got to have that discussion. We were immediately guilty, the program is out of control, let's end the program, investigators were coming in, we had uh, the Tom Young Commission got started and, and started looking at us from a program standpoint, and, and it was really a traumatic point in the, in the whole history of the program, because everything we had worked so hard to put together, we saw just really coming apart. So it didn't matter how well we were performing technically, it didn't matter how well assembly was going on orbit, that was totally discounted. It was looked at, why are you over budget? And then, then how do things come together? The other thing that became really obvious was that, you know, inter internal to the program, we knew what we were doing. We knew what hardware we were building, but our documentation had gotten old. You know, our requirements documents weren't updated recently. You know, we had some modules that didn't exist anymore. We made some changes that weren't correct. So the auditors come in and they don't know any better. They, they're looking for requirements. They pull the requirements out and we're nowhere near those requirements. So not only do they see this huge budget disconnect, but they see this whole requirements disconnect, which was just disastrous to the program. So then we you know, quickly decided that we needed to put together a cost accounting requirements document, a card document. It's something that's typically done on the DOD side where we just essentially annotate all our requirements in a way that's that can be easily seen by auditors. They can come in and examine the, the requirements and see what's being met and not being met. It's obvious to them and we don't have to kind of justify the program. But I mean that was hugely important. So so kind of a lesson learned are when when things are really going well and everything seems perfectly fine and you're really hitting your stride and you really got confidence that things are going you need to be prepared for that unexpected. And, and it was the fact that we, we thought for sure we'd get a little bit of budget increase. We didn't. We, in fact, we got the opposite. We got modules removed. We got hardware content cut out. We were shown as a dysfunctional program when we were actually doing really good things. We knew what we were doing because we couldn't find an audible, traceable uh, path back. So, so one lesson learned there is make sure you keep your requirements up to date. Also make sure that you don't overstate or really understate your financial risk and just keep you know, actual tabs moving forward. And it, and it turned out we came out of that pretty good overall. We were able to deliver really all the modules. We didn't have to cut hardly anything out of the program. They, we took them temporarily out of the program to get back into budget. And then we kind of held that as a challenge. Could we eventually save enough funds to add those components back in? So we were able to add back in node three and the cupola 
many of the things that were cut out initially to get us back in budget, we were able to add in back later again. And I believe we also got a better cost accounting system put together. We got a better set of requirements. So we really learned from this experience, but it was, it was unbelievably traumatic to go through this. Uh, I also learned a lot. They brought in some uh, DOD cost estimators to go look at our program. I learned a, a lot from them. You know, they showed me in an operational program where, you know, we, we could control how many software drops we do per year. We could control how many anomaly reports we resolve each year. So we could kind of dial in and dial out some of those operational things because they're just essentially funding items that occur throughout the entire year. They're, they're not like a, a development project that needs to be completed at a certain point. I have flexibility. So you can use those things to moderate the operational side to moderate your overall budget. You know, the other thing we learned was also when, when work came to a conclusion to actually remove the contractor off the task. So as we completed a trust element, and this will become more evident as, as I talked to you about the technical challenge, but we, we had the Columbia tragedy, we had to stop assembly, but I didn't stop trust development and trust manufacturing down in Florida. We would take it to conclusion, we would stop, and then I would just stop all changes on that particular element. Even though our natural tendency would be to keep the entire organization up and running and working in that trust, I pulled them off of that trust element, they went on to the next trust element to go work. And that was a way to, again, to hold our costs down. So, so this traumatic event really helped the program overall improve our programmatic performance by first having good stable requirements and really understanding our budget as we go forward. So again, when you think things are going smooth and you're all comfortable and everything is doing really good, that's when you really need to be hypersensitive and watch out for these other little subtle cues that, hey, something else is coming on the horizon.